children were shy uh, over different reasons. Uh, they communicated with the puppet in, in a different way because the puppets are very small. So they feel big and strong. <laughs> puppets are always small and can ask very naive questions, which are not stupid questions. They are naive because they are genuine for you, just in the <coughs> puppet's perspective. And children are really <coughs> working hard to explain how they think, how they feel, and why. This kind of conversation is information for me as a teacher. <coughs> because they are talking with puppet, not with me. And that's also one uh, size or one side of teacher's uh, role that you can get information, it could be sensible. And you have to take hand of that and not make ch child disappointed. Um, for example, this frog who are talking with one child and a child asked the frog, are you married? Well, I, I never thought about this kind of connections with the f <laughs> for frog. <coughs> no, yeah, yes, yes. Because I think so. If is not important, if is not important to be married, then the child wouldn't wouldn't ask. So I said yes, he is married. Uh, and then the child asks, do you quarrel with your wife? <laughs> <laughs> so I try to be diplomatic. Well, everybody do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the child asks the frog, do you hit your wife? Mm. No. The answer was no. Uh, this was a new group of children, I didn't know them so much, and th this is one sensitive situation. If I'm going to start to investigate, what shall I do? So uh, I said only, no, I'm not. Never? Never. Mm -hmm. And then, I was very afraid actually afraid to get a new question. Mm. But this hitting question never come. Instead he asked, why do you have those clothes <coughs> on you and so on. But then I was talking with their teacher. How is family situation? Yeah, yes. What's happened? What is child? Went through. Yes, <coughs> come through and uh, which kind of experience and so on. So in this little, little, little conversation, I've got information about something it's important to take care of. So you see, the puppet as an educational tool opened the doors to a different kind of situation that if you only educate, if you only put the question in the group and expect answers, never happen. <coughs> never happen. And the most potential that puppet has is to, to make children to ask and make questions by themselves, not only answer. Very, very often education is about to search answer from children just to be sure that they understood, that they can, that they make uh, progress <coughs> and reach levels. But children must learn also to put the question and ask. And then you will get conversation, okay. dialogue with equal. Um, I have one puppet. Who, made, who came every Friday and liked to share question and answer. So children are free to ask anything and the puppet is 
free to ask anything. That's this puppet's personality. Once I've got a question, I've got through the puppet, which snake is the dangerous in the world? It's poison. Yes, teacher, I don't know that. I didn't know. I mean, I'm not so interested in snakes. I know a little bit. So the puppet said, oh, it was a very interesting question. There is a lot of snakes in the world and I have, uh, I have find out which is the most dangerous. So next week when I'm coming back, I have the answer. As a teacher and the, through the puppet, you don't have to have an answer on everything. The puppet can say, it was a very interesting question, I am going to find out. And the next week, you are going to get your answer. And important is that you have answer next week. Yes. So when I came home, what I do? I, I read, I search, we search. I ask Amanda, do you know which, which, which snake is the most dangerous? Uh, then it's internet. Yes. Yes. And do you know? Like, like Mamba. Yes. I didn't know that. I thought it was the green, but it is not. Black Mamba is the most dangerous. And this is the this is also the the snake who runs. It's not this movement. It's that. Thirty six kilometer in hour. It's amazing. You can stand up. Yes. 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 It's it is it's incredible. I was very proud when I could answer that question. So it is future learning. Because children's questions are very unpredictable. And they think about the things we don't think it's important. But it is important. Uh, do you have snow in India? Some, sometimes? Some parts. Some parts. Some parts. Some parts. Okay. Yes. So you are familiar with yes. snow. One question was, where all the white take away? Take, goes away when snow melt. Five years old child asked me, do you know where, where all the white goes when, when the snow melts? Because snow is white. Yes, and white is a color. I, I, I didn't know what to say. It is a very intelligent question. So I, th I, I tell I have to think about it. It is a fantastic question. Um, there is a lot of, I, I, tr I usually write immediately such questions because you forgot. Mm -hmm. It is very exciting and you can tell your friends and so on, but after a while you forgot. Mm -hmm. So it is Sometimes I have a book with the children's questions and I read them for the children. <coughs> a few years ago I was in that, that group and then I got those questions. They are very interesting. Would you like to hear? Mm -hmm. Yes. And after that I think you can inspire children to make their own questions and then it is something to talk about children's wiseness creativity, how they think. So the puppet is the, the window to the, another role of teaching, another way of teaching. This is festival about storytelling. And uh, we, uh, there is performance, I, yesterday we were and watched the movies, perhaps you were there also, and Ula, and Gita, fantastic storyteller. And um, when I work with storytelling, I work in a different way. Storytelling as information, storytelling as performance, and storytelling 
is communication. And um, this is um, introduction actually to the story about the very hungry caterpillar today. I think the most or many of you are familiar with this story. Yes. So the point is not the time uh, where you we we um, you got a copy of the story. Yes. 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 This is the book. This is very little book because we are flying and has a lot of things with us. That it could be a very big book too. Yeah. And. This is mathematical story. Yes. This is the way of the being, and so on. So uh, I was thinking that today, because we have all the day in the workshop, we are going to <coughs> start with something you know, and this is that story. As the information is, if you just read it for children, very nice uh, reading and uh, after that you can put question, what is this story about? And they ask, it is about caterpillar and it is hungry and it becomes a butterfly and which kind of fruit? It is that kind of information. <coughs> which kind of fruit do you like? Have you seen some caterpillar? This is information. Storytelling and the information and knowledge expanding. Then you have a performance that you can use the puppet. Uh, is communication is when you performed for children as a teacher and then ask for assistance. Who will hold the apple? Who is going to be the apple? I will. Okay. And who is going to be? So you start to communicate and how is your apple? My apple is very nice. Okay. So I build in and caterpillar find an apple, eat through it. It was very nice and fine apple. So I repeat the words the child said. And there is a, another fruit and so on. So when the butterfly is born today, this is the start of a new story about your own butterfly, because you are going to do butterfly. Uh, Mate, yes. Uh, now I would like to present puppet and the music, because all those can dance and sing and like to listen to the music. So it is different levels of how to experience music and how to develop different skills about music. I would like to start with a pantomime where words are not necessary and uh, it, is, it is the most difficult uh, kind of with the puppets because the movement has to talk for themselves. Yes. The pantomime is uh, artistic form from France and makes uh, from living persons and move to the puppets. This pantomime is about meeting. And this pantomime is something I never played for children because their life experience doesn't compare with the pantomime's meaning. But I play it for all adults because we have experience of meeting 